Hello everyone, welcome back to the next episode. Uh, in the previous video, we learned about how to go ahead and install the WP GraphQL plugin and also the Gatsby source GraphQL plugin and then also query the data from WordPress uh, using these, this query. Okay, and then in this video, we're going to uh, talk about how to go ahead and use the Create Pages API to dynamically create pages and show them onto my Gatsby site. Uh, all right, so let's do that. So the first thing we're going to do is just close this because this is done. Uh, what we can do is we can create a directory called utils and just create a page called create posts. Okay, and we're going to deal with that in some time. And we come back to our Gatsby Node.js and over here, let's get rid of all of this. We're going to say const create posts is equal to require and then just get that file utils slash create post.js and then do export dot create page let, so let's just copy it from here is it gone okay so you have the export start create page pages is equal to we're going to do async update over here because we want to do a query and then once we once that query gets resolved then we want to loop through the data from the post so here you have actions available and then you also have graphql available here graph ql and then this is going to be an arrow function and inside of this we're going to do an abate so once that is resolved, I'm just going to call this create post function and just again, it'll have, I'm just going to pass the action and graph given inside of it. And now we go back to the create post. <clears throat> Let's close this one. So the next thing I'm going to do is before we move on to that, let's write a query. So I'm going to go to my graphical and I'm just going to update this query with all of the information that I need. So probably let's get rid of edges because I probably would not need a relationship here, but I would like to go with notes. And then I'm looking for URI, I'm looking for ID, I'm looking for post ID, and then I'm looking for excerpt, and then content, then featured image. One of the good thing I like about GraphQL is that uh, I don't know if you've ever worked with the REST API uh, from WordPress, but with WordPress REST API, if you want to query uh, to get a featured image, not query, but if you want to get the featured image, then you have to uh, do a multiple round trips for uh, your REST API because uh, you know one particular endpoint doesn't have the featured image available. But with GraphQL, you just get whatever you want. So you get exactly what you need. So I need the source URL and let's hit query play button and then I should get all of the data for the post. There you go. Awesome. If you're worrying about what you're getting this in excerpt, just ignore that because this was my blog post where I'm just explaining about different codes. So, so that's fine. All right. So once you have the query available, all I have to do is just copy this query. And then what I'm going to do is go back to my create post and just write this query. So I'm going to create a constant called get posts. And then backtick to write the query. And then I'll say query get posts. And inside of this, I'm just going to paste it right here like this. So I've got my query written and the next thing I want to do is basically I want to make a GraphQL query for the post. So since I've already written my query, I need to query it. Uh, when the query gets resolved, I want to loop through the post and then using create page uh, function inside the loop, we can create block pages that render some posts and also create single block page as well and create templates to display the data. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is just create a constant called all posts. 
and then I'll say module dot exports and async. We're gonna write an async await function, and we already have the actions. Oops, actions and GraphQL available that we had passed. If you remember from here, so we had the actions and GraphQL. Passed, so you just object is structuring over here. Okay, and then this is going to be an arrow function. Then from actions, I have create page function available that create pages creates pages. Create page is equal to actions. I hope that's a spelling. Create page, yeah. Okay, and it's const over here. Okay, and then I'm going to fetch the posts by running the query. So I will call it as fetch posts. Async, again, async evict. Async and then return await. So when that gets resolved, and do a GraphQL query get posts and then we get the data I'm just going to pull the data out of it so if you remember in the query we have this data available so I'm just pulling that out with object destructuring and I'm just going to once you do that then Okay, so that's data. Okay, and then we have constant. I'm just going to pull the WP GraphQL posts and the notes out of the data that I'm getting over here. So I'm just going to say const. Um, let's just pull wp graphql and then posts and then notes out of the data okay it's fine awesome and then once that is done, and what we want to do is basically, <clears throat> yeah. So we also want to define where we want to display all of this. So what will be the URL of the page? So we can create a constant called block page path. So where do we want to display all of these pages? So that be slash block. So if you notice, if you go over here, it asks you about the path information. So that's where do you want to display all of the content of this template and the data. So I want to display a slash block. Probably I want to display something else on my home page. Since I already have an index page, uh, I want to keep my block page separate. So let's do that. And then I'm going to get the node IDs from nodes map. No, let's map it through the node and just get the post IDs. Post ID. Okay, so if you go, so what we're doing over here, we're actually looping through different nodes and just getting all of the post IDs from there. Okay, and then once that is done, I'm just going to pass all of the information that it needs. So this create page needs a path the component for the template and then it also needs the context basically the data that you want to pass to this component so that when I render that component I want to be able to use that data so in the context we can pass the I know right IDs and nodes and all of the post related data and then the te our template that uh, renders the blog can actually use that data to render it dynamically so that's exactly what I'm going to do so uh, I'm just going to create a constant and then later on pass that in a create page function. So just create a constant for this. So constant block page is equal to path. Uh, path will be block page path. So if you notice, needs a path. So I'm just putting that as 
uh, block page path and then it requires a component so we want so let's go to components uh, sorry templates let's create a directory called templates and inside of templates let's create a template called so inside of the templates let's create a directory called posts and this is where we're going to keep the template for posts. So there are two templates that we need the first template we need would be for um, our block page where we'll display all of the blocks with the with the uh, excerpt and then another template will be for actually for the single page where we display the full content with the image for that particular post whenever the user clicks on it okay so let's do that this is the first one that displays all the posts let's name it as blog template you can name it whatever you want blog template.js and the next one would be single post template.js okay so these are the two ones and for now just create a constant first import react from react and then just const just create a component block template return something out of it blog show all blocks with excerpt okay and just export it export default block template similarly we can do that for the other one as well let's just close it just change the name to single post template okay let's close it and I'm just going to use that over here so I can do so all we need to do is just require it over here so I'm just going to say const block template and I'm just going to say require dot resolve source and then template and then posts this inside of the post directory and then block template and similarly we get the single post template as well so single post template again you can name it whatever you want template and this will be coming from single post template okay so I can just use it because currently we are going to create the page dynamically for all of the posts 